Well, people go to bars for a lot of different reasons. But rarely to learn the alphabet. Our Trevor Throwback Thursday takes us back to 1983. Any student that has gone through the educational system in this country has no doubt spent hours looking up at those alphabet cards. We learned the 26 letters A through Z on those green cards. But once we leave school, we don't see the alphabet laid out like that anymore. That is unless you go to a bar in Prairie du Sac. It's the coach's place in Prairie du Sac. Dick Martin is the coach. He's been one for 21 years. The last 12 at Wanakee High School before retiring from the classroom to the bar room. Coach's bar is filled with sports paraphernalia. Coach is understandably a sports fan. He even has his championship Wanakee school letter hanging up. And that's where the problems began. People in Sauk Prairie said, what are you doing with a W up there? This is Sauk Prairie, it's not uh, Wanakee. And so I said, okay, bring one in. Bring in a Sauk Prairie letter, he said. They did, but then things got out of hand. Then I got thinking about it, and I thought that, uh, well, wait a minute, I wonder how many more I could get. And so we just started out, and our, our first letter, uh, I, I, ironically enough, was the A. Dick now has the entire alphabet hanging above his bar, just like those above the chalkboard. But this alphabet is made up entirely of high school athletic letters. The A is from Arena, B is from Blue River. C, Coleman, D, Dodgeville, E, Madison, East, F, Fenimore, G, Grant High School in Fox Lake, Illinois, H, Highland, I, University of Iowa, J, Jefferson, K, Japan, I don't know where. There's Lodi, Mount Horeb, Norwalk, Autumna, Iowa, the Q was the one I thought I'd never get. And somebody just walked in one day and said, hey, here's a Q. <laughs> I said, you know, you're, you're kidding me, a Q? <laughs> yeah, I got it. we got a Q from uh, Quigley Seminary South. R is from Rudolph, S is Sauk City, Toma, Union Grove, Valparaiso, Indiana, Wisconsin Heights, Xavier and Appleton, Youngstown, Ohio, and finally, Zanesville, Ohio. <laughs> the alphabet is the talk of Coach's Place. Topics run from, well, A to Z. It's amazing that the um, amount of pride that people take in coming in here, you know, and uh, they'll sit down with a friend of theirs and say, you know, that's, that's my D up there. Uh, because, let's face it, when, when you get to be 30 years old, you don't wear your letter sweater anymore. <laughs> And if you do, it's liable to end up hanging on the wall. You see, Coach is working on a second set of letters now. He's keeping those stored, you guessed it, in alphabetical order. Mark Kane, News 3, traveling in Prairie du Sac. Coach passed away back in 2015. The coach's place closed down a few years earlier. The location is still the bar, though. Here it is. Right? Here it is. It's called Maybe Again. And we're not really sure what happened to all those letters. But they're not up in the bar anymore. Oh, wow. That's a great story. We wanted to go in, but... Mm -hmm. They don't open until 3, which I found unusual for a bar in Wisconsin. Yeah, we need to talk to those owners. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe again.